So this is a very, very short video in response to some questions I've been asked about the clarity of my cockpit with my settings. Because as you know, the video recording is never the same as what's actually in the Oculus view. So in regards to the clarity of this cockpit, I am right now in the Piper 4 Turbo. And I can read all the numbers on all the gauges. For the real small numbers, I do have to lean in a little, but I think I would have to do that in real life anyhow without my glasses. But like here, now look, I'm gonna lean in this much. And at this point, I can read gear down, gear up, 133, KIS, 111, 133. That's the placard up above the, I mean, to the left, uh, sorry, to the right of the airspeed indicator. Now, on the airspeed indicator, I can read at the very top, plus 30, minus 30, alt, and the letter P above, which is right above the 200. I can read all the numbers. I can read no acrobatic maneuvers, including spins approved. They are a little bit hazy compared to what would actually be seen on the screen if I was playing 2D and probably in the recordings. Altitude reporter installed. I can read the numbers on the thermometer up there. I can read the numbers on the altitude indicator over there. I can read that we're at 0890 over there on that one. Very easy uh, to read everything on the left-hand device. COM 122.100, 124.850. Nothing in the VOR or the RAD. So, and if I zoom in, I mean, I know I'll be able to read the airport numbers here. So, like I said, yes, there is a little bit of fuzziness compared to the rest. Um, I can read fire extinguisher down there, the ABC. Can't quite make out the warning or the tab, or the label with the last check. Hopefully this read. will give you some idea. Again, this is the Piper 3 Cub. Now, if I switch planes, it, it can be very different. So at this point, I am now in the Cadet Cub, the Monster NX Cub, which is really built off of the regular NX Cub. And this panel, I can read Alt-Air Pull-On, Alt-Air Pull-On on the bezel and on the knob, Carb Heat Pull-On, Steady, pulse, on, land, on, nav, strobe, AV master, no smoking. I can't quite read what's below it, but if I do this, I can. Maximum fuel imbalance, AP, level, FD, nav, heading, approach, aux dimmer, pull cards. You can read the breaker information. Emergency exit, rotate handle, push to open. So this one as well, I can pretty much read whatever I need to. Um, I can tell that my manifold inches are at 30. My RPM is at zero. Degree in Celsius is 11. Fuel gallons per hour right now is zero. Fuel pressure is zero. Uh, the menu, I can read that this says map. I can read this as map, I can read this as FPL, and this says PROC. Audio COM1 118.3, standby 124.850, track 27 degrees, ground speed zero right now, distance of course, bearing, waypoint, ident all zero, transponder says 700 STBY. So I can read the heading 36. I can read the numbers down there, although they are quite small. But again, it doesn't take much to lean in like that. And I think in real life, I would have to lean in on some of these anyways. My eyes aren't that good. But that's what I see in my cockpit with my settings. Thanks for watching, and I hope this answers the question.